Hey everybody, so I'm back with another Feral Druid guide today. Uh, looking at 10.1 Feral. I know it's a little bit late into the season, but as you know probably from previous videos I've been mentioning, I wasn't in the country, I was in Japan for a couple weeks and stuff, and so I've been slow getting into this season. But I just hit 3k IO1 Feral uh, a couple days ago, so I'm looking good, got a little bit of practice on it, so I thought, hey, you know what, I'll, I'll throw out a, a guide for you. Before I get into any of the meat of the video, though, I did want to give you guys a heads up on how the channel's going forward uh, on YouTube and Kick and stuff like that. So, I'm still continuing to stream on Twitch, but on Sundays, I'm going to start streaming on Kick and YouTube simultaneously, uh, and maybe even TikTok as well, I'm going to look into, into that. So expect on Sundays for me to be live here on the channel. I'll be playing World of Warcraft and also I'll be alive on Kick. So depending on however you like to watch your streams, feel free to come in and tune in. And uh, yeah, we'll just be playing Feral, Survival, that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, I also offer like coaching so you can come into my stream and you can type exclamation mark coaching, which will link up the command that tells you how you can submit your content to me your vods to me and i will review them live on stream for you um you know i think it's like every second friday of the month and uh i actually review your gameplay it's all for free and everything like that so just give you an, giving you a heads up there so in terms of how feral's looking right now in 10.1 i'm gonna start very quickly and i'm going to say our single target sucks so if you come in and you're thinking sai how do i do more single target you don't it sucks. Accept it. You probably aren't going to get invited to many tyrannical keys. Bottom line. Hopefully in 10.1.5, with the changes that are coming through, our single target will improve enough that we won't be a complete liability on anything that requires single target. Now, we still need some buffs in 10.1.5 for our single target to be really be good, even with the PTR stuff, but... Hopefully it'll be better. So I want to start this video by just kind of discussing some of the um, the gearing uh, elements and the and the build elements. So this is a website called Murloc.io. You can go on it, check it out. It's all free and everything to use. You can go on Feral, go on Mythic Plus. So this is looking at Ferals, at the top fifty Ferals between twenty eight hundred and thirty one hundred. So literally between the number one Feral and you know the the fiftieth uh, fiftieth. Um, so it's kind of, uh, accumulating all the data in terms of stats and gear and everything like that. So you can see here that people are heavily favoring mastery and then crit, then haste, then versatility. But it's very much a mastery crit scenario. In Mythic Plus, this makes sense. I mean, generally speaking, we're crit mastery, mastery haste. It's, it's kind of one in the same because we want a lot of both. Technically, in AoE, the more mobs you add, the lower you need your crit to be because you're more likely to crit and guarantee that second combo point for every, you know, for every additional mob you're adding, you're increasing those chances. Um, so when you're in big AoE, you're basically guaranteed to be critting. So that's why mastery is so powerful and mastery is increasing the damage of all of our, you know, all of our rips, all of our bleeds, all of our finishes, ferocious bite and rip both doing a lot of damage for us right now. So there's that. Uh, in terms of class talents so this is kind of the tree you can see how it's like kind of displaying the vast majority of people are picking this talent or you know some people are picking that talent this is how it's all displaying here you can see most people coming down here grabbing typhoon grabbing nature's vigil sometimes taking remove corruption it depends on the dungeon you're doing and it depends on the affix week so keep that in mind this is something that is very very important and i can talk to you about how you can actually pick up remove corruption in just a moment um, but you can see as well, people going and grabbing Renewal, very important, and then also grabbing well honed Instincts, and you can see the difference between people taking it at rank 1 or rank 2. I think, um, you know, I don't play Protector of the Pack myself, some people do. Uh, I also prefer Ursine Vigor over something like Matted Fur, some people are clearly preferring this. So there are a few, like, little outliers and stuff, and that's fine, some people are finding value in other things. Me personally, I'll show you my build in, uh, you know, right now I can tree for my class tree. So this is my class tree here. Now say I'm in a dungeon and I need to pick up remove corruption. The way in which I do that, A for simplicity and B um, just because I think it's a pretty good way of doing it, is I'll drop two points off Ursign Vigor, grab these two here, and then I drop one point off Frenzied Regen, and I throw it there on remove corruption. I lose a little bit of tankiness when I'm in bear form, but... It's okay, you know, a lot of the time right now, I can I can live it, so it's fine. Uh, in terms of spe uh, spec talents, this is the situation. So a lot of people are playing Blood Talons, some people are playing Lion Strength, 
A lot of people are playing Carnivorous Instinct. Well, everyone's playing it rank 1. 50% of people are playing it rank 2. And the other 50% are playing Feral Frenzy instead. So that's kind of a decision that you're making there. Do you want a bit more single target? You can grab Feral Frenzy. You drop one Carnivorous Instinct for that. Um, Feral Frenzy is also really good in burst windows. So say you're in Brackenhide Hollow and you're doing the final boss and you've got to kill the totem. You can save Feral Frenzy for it every time and you know that you're going to have a bit of burst. Also, there's a lot of dungeons that have burst windows. So say Naltheris. There's times where bosses take increased damage for a short window. Something like having Feral Frenzy for those really good so uh, that's how you can kind of edge out a little bit of extra single target and if you're really smart with it you can you can edge out even a bit more uh everyone's playing incon no one's playing uh convoke no one in the sub 50 is playing convoke but you can convoke is actually i think pretty good um it's just not the best still good though still optional now a big decision that you got to make is do you want double clawed rake or merciless claw apparently it seems like that is the division for a lot of people is they're taking one or t'other I personally prefer Double Clawed Rake. You can go Merciless, though. You know, if you're not Rake spreading as much and you just, you know, want to be gaining a bit more of flat damage, sure, you can do that. I personally play Tireless Energy. Some people play MOC or most people play MOC. I do think that MOC is probably, like, better in terms of pure DPS. I do Moment of Clarity will be better. But I prefer Tireless Energy because I feel like the flow of my rotation is better, is more consistent. And I feel like I just perform better when I'm playing Tireless Energy. However, I might start looking to play more MOC. It's not a big deal. Like, the decision with a lot of these talents, we're talking very small differences in overall damage. So it's not a big, 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 big deal. Um, but those are the main decisions of Double Cord Rake or Merciless, Tireless or MOC. And then, like, Blood Talons, Lion Strength, Carnivorous or Feral Frenzy. And that's kind of the decision that you're making in the tree. Sudden Ambush is very popular now. The reason Sudden Amb Am Ambush is very popular is because of the way Berserk works. Berserk is increasing your rake damage by 50%. And then on top of that, you get Pouncing Strikes. So when you're stealth, your rake damage increased by 60%. So then when you get something like Sudden Ambush, and you're in AoE, and you're using a lot of finishes and a lot of Apex Bites, and you're getting these Sudden Ambush procs, and then you can use that, you're getting a big damage increase, especially during your Berserk window. Because then as well, you got Frenzied, uh, you got Frenzied Assault, wherever the hell it is. I can't find it right now. Um over here berserk frenzy so you got that which is going to increase the damage like you know your your bleeds or your combo point generated ab abilities during your berserk is going to create an additional bleed so you're also going to get the bleed effect of it during berserk so it's very very strong that's why sudden ambush uh, is so popular and it's actually causing rake to do some some of the biggest damage that we do it does like 16 plus percent 19 percent of your damage is just rake everyone's playing the new tier set except for me i think i'm literally the only person in the top 50 I think I'm top 50 right now. It's playing the old tier set. This is partly because I'm rebelling. And the other part is because I just I, I just like it. Uh, but the new tier set, it's going to add more stamina, more agility. It means you're going to live things easier. Uh, and it's just going to give you a bit more single target. And I think just in general, it's going to be a bit better to use. But, you know, I'll probably switch over to it eventually. I just honestly fuck the new tier set. Um... A lot of people playing with the slime toxin boots and the braces or the, the with the boots with the fur... You can do that. It's extra damage. I personally am playing with the cape right now. The reason I'm playing with the cape is because I am not comfortable in these dungeons right now because I haven't got the time actually in these dungeons. I don't have enough like like uh, contact time with them because I was away. I didn't get a great start going into the season. So even though I'm 3k, I still don't feel mega, mega, mega comfortable in every single dungeon. Some of them I've only done twice or three times, right? So... That's why I'm playing the cape. I might switch over to the Toxin Boots eventually. It's fine, though. My damage right now is really competitive, so I'm, I'm okay. Harlands is really good. Any of these trinkets here are really, really good. I'm using Ominous and Harlands right now. I don't have the weapon yet, but Jaren is really good. If you can grab that, it's very, very good. Um, and then uh, you got enchants and all that kind of stuff, but that's basically that. So that's kind of like the breakdown of, of, of how everything's looking there. In terms of actually how you're playing Feral, I mean, it's very much the same as it always always has been or for this expansion. Go in, Tiger Fury, Rake, you can Thrash, you can Incom, Brutal Slash, and then, you know, you can do a little bit of Rake spreading here, Biting, Primal Wrathing. The nice thing is now is that Blood Talons actually gives you three charges, so that's good. I do have a nice little uh, weak aura that shows me the overcapping. You can see in the top left corner, the overcapping of my combo points, they turn blue. So that shows me how many additional combo points I'm sitting at. But um, yeah, I, I have, like, nothing's really changed, right? 
Like, it's all kind of just the same that it has been for a very long time. Like, the whole expansion, you're still doing the same things. You're rake spreading, you're thrashing, you're primal wrathing, you're biting when you can. In terms of a lot of the nuanced stuff, like when should you primal wrath, when should you rip, when should, you know, when should you uh, do whatever else. All of that stuff, pandemic window, snapshotting, all that stuff, it's all in previous guides that I've made. So I'm not gonna rediscuss things that I've already got in YouTube content already. What I will do is I'll link in the description to some of these videos to get you, if you're new to Feral, it's gonna be like a intro to intermediate guide and it's gonna get you running. For anything more than that, come ask me in stream, come into my channel and come uh, try and get some coaching submissions. You know, come give me your VODs. I want to review them on stream. I would love to do that. But I'll link to my other guides as well in the description here. And then, uh, yeah, nothing's really changed much. Like, it's it's just the Berserk change, really, that's the big one. But even then, that hasn't really changed too much. So, um, yeah, hopefully this has at least been a little bit helpful for you guys. I will have more videos to follow, more content coming. So keep an eye on the channel. And, uh, yeah, thanks very much. I'm looking forward to doing some YouTube streams with you. Take it easy.